Hi, this is Tony Kurtz, and this is our second weekly radio address. And we thought it would be kind of neat to go ahead and bring you inside and see how we do it. Hi, Tony Kurtz here. As a 20-year Army veteran and veteran of both Iraq wars, I have a different viewpoint on our government's handling of foreign policy than someone who has spent a career in Washington. Our country's foreign policy is embarrassingly inept. Over the past several years, Americans have witnessed the decline of our country's reputation from that of the defender of freedom to a paper tiger. Because of our leader's weakness, the world is less safe. The President's haphazard withdrawal from Iraq, his telegraphing of our intent to withdraw forces from Afghanistan directly to our enemies, his negotiating with terrorists, and his drawing of meaningless red lines have diminished America's position in the world. Meanwhile, politicians like Ryan Kine have sat idly by, watching instead of acting. Additionally, what messages are we sending to our young men and women in uniform? The sequester will reduce our forces to below World War II levels. President Obama failed to come to the aid of Marines in Benghazi. And the continued state of scandal and disarray in our VA hospital begs the question, where is the leadership and where is Congressman Kind? President Obama's Freudian moment that we don't have a strategy yet confirms what the world and what our enemies already know. This government does not have a coherent foreign policy, and people like Ron Kind serve as apologists for Washington's failure as the world begins to unravel. This week, NATO summit brought constructive dialogue, and I am hopeful that the president follows through and takes the lead on developing the kind of coherent and no-nonsense foreign policy that America needs and deserves. However, I as well as you, have heard these promises before, and I do have my doubts. America is war-weary, and folks in Wisconsin are no different. Our enemies see this weariness as well. However, as a veteran, I was a pair of those boots on the ground. My wife also was all those boots on the ground. So I do not take these matters lightly, because I know the consequences. The muddled foreign policy objectives of foreign a President Obama have no place in responsible foreign policy, and neither do the milquetoast reactions of lifetime politicians. Force should be the last resort, but when dealing with terrorists and tyrants, all options must remain on the table. You know, I know there's a lot of things going on in our district. We have Obamacare, we have jobs, we got our national debt. But right now, foreign policy is something that we need to focus on. You have ISIS. You have what Russia is doing in Europe and to Ukraine. These are trying times. And so we need to have a, a firm focus on what we're doing. And that's what I want to do as your representative in Washington, D.C. You're going to know where I stand. I believe in a strong military. I'm a Ronald Reagan Republican. I believe in what Theodore Roosevelt said so many years ago. You speak softly but you carry a big stick. I served in both Iraq wars, and I know the consequences when we send men and women in, into harm's way. And I don't take these things very lightly. But you can't sit idly by. The world watches what we do. And so I need your help to spread the message. We have so many good volunteers. We have so many people that help out on the campaign. But we've got to get our message out. And that does take a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time from our volunteers. It takes a lot of time from my staff. And it takes donations. So I'm asking you over the next couple of weeks to help us out. Help us out spread the message. Because it's going to take one vote at a time to change what we do and change Washington, D.C. Because one thing I want you to realize is I'm not a lifetime politician. I, like so many others, we're doing this for the right reason, for this country. And I know that's why you do it, and I hope you know that's why I do it. So I don't mean to put a somber tone on this, but we can do better. And we, as a nation, as a district, have to do better. And it takes one vote at a time. But it starts with you. And it starts with me. So I need your help. I need you to get out there, spread the message. If you can help out anywhere you can, please do. So once again, I'm Tony Kurtz. I hope you guys have a great evening, and thanks a lot for listening.